Hello and welcome to this week's video roundup. I'm Jo Marchant and I'm here to show you our best science videos of the week. Our first video takes us down to the bottom of the sea. Researchers from the Polytechnic University of Marsh in Italy have been investigating whether the diversity of species in the ocean has an effect on its overall health. The team determined how fit the oceans are by looking at how well matter decomposes, how nutrients are regenerated and how food chains are functioning. The large-scale study looked at 116 deep-sea locations around the world. The researchers took samples from the ocean floor and focused on the abundance of different types of small organisms, like nematode worms, which are a good indicator of the diversity of larger species. Their results showed that more nematode species on the ocean floor actually helped the ecosystem function better. Their data also confirmed that in general oceans are much healthier when there are more deep-sea species. Back on land, researchers are also looking at what happens when species are removed from an ecosystem. Sandrine Kerstemal tells us more. In the Kenyan savannah, researchers are finding out how different species affect one another. Ants live in the thorns of the acacia tree, and tapping this one with a pencil reveals the aggressive reaction they have to predators like large mammals. This species may not be paying rent, but it repays the tree by protecting it from harm. Other ant species are parasitic, when disturbed, there's no reaction, so they're actually squatting and offer no benefit to the tree. So what if predators like elephants and giraffes are removed from the equation? A team led by researchers from the University of Florida banned them from part of the study area to find out. Competition between different species of ants is fierce. They all want thorny homes and space is very limited. The researchers found that without the large mammals, the parasitic ants gained more turf. Both the helpful ants and the acacia trees suffered. Ants are not the only ones fighting over turf. Groups of capuchin monkeys are also claiming their territory. A team led by researchers at Harvard University watched territorial battles between six groups of monkeys to see if being closer to home gave them an advantage. The animals were tracked with radio transmitting collars and the researchers created this animation from the data collected on one day. Each colour represents a group of monkeys and different shades distinguish males and females. The researchers found that there was a home advantage when fights erupted close to the centre of a group's territory. But as battles took place further from the centre, the advantage decreased. Here, the group in brown won its fight with the blue group. Now for the results of a competition among humans. Last week, the British Computer Society and Electrolux awarded the Machine Intelligence Prize to a team from Imperial College London. The team developed The Painting Fool, a computer programme that aspires to be an artist. The software first analyses a short video clip of a person and identifies their mood and the location of their facial features. It then chooses the best colours and brush strokes to paint a portrait of the person in a style that brings out their emotion. The painting fool shows that with a little training, computers may be capable of creativity after all. And that's all for now, but for more science and tech stories, you can always visit our website or check out the magazine. Bye for now.